all right guys welcome back as you can see i am out at low tide this morning and where i am this sand has built up by an insane amount here i mean i was not expecting the sand to be piled up like it is i am well off the beach already a little bit of grass out in the water you can probably see a little bit of it down in there it's not bad um, i've already thrown one out with a three ounce it's not sitting real great so i'm gonna whip one out here with a four ounce see how that holds and we're just gonna kind of have to go from there okay as you can see i was wrong this is the day after tropical storm mindy just hit east of here over in florida mindy is an idiot jerk and brought in a bunch of grass and you can see i've got a little hard head on there but i saw all this grass here on the beach i was hoping i'd get lucky and it would already all be washed ashore i was wrong so i am going to get this cleaned off get that little hard head back and then i might be looking for a trough really close to the beach to work in this morning all right making a long depressing journey back the way i came from just not going to work over the sandbar today so i'm going to go find me that trough i was talking about and go from there through the small rod real close to the beach and we got us a keeper whiting good deal i think i'm hooked up i don't know for sure yeah i'm hooked up i threw that on a sandbar and i got a little stuck there got a little bit buried in the sand i got a hard head <laughs> of course what else would it be i don't think he stayed on yeah, he's still on there all right another decent little widening i'd actually walked over to i had to hit on the cut bait a little bit ago and i wanted to wanted to make sure it didn't get pulled off of there but I'll get over there eventually. And I know I'm measuring from the 12, but as long as these dudes are 10 inches, I'm keeping them today. No size limit, but I put a limit on myself. 10 and over, you start to get a little decent play. Anything under 10, too much work, not enough meat, so I throw them back. First hookup in a while. Hopefully it's a keeper fish. We'll find out here real shortly because none of my rods are out very far. And it's gonna be an undersized pompano. Dang it. Oh well, that's a pomp. Oh, quit bleeding so much, buddy. Okay, he's... Well, knock on wood, he'll be all right. Oh no, that's a little... He's bleeding good, but... We'll get this little feller thrown back. We'll walk him down so Doug don't snatch him up. But... All right. Again, as soon as it lands over on that other side of the bar, instantly getting hits. Whatever this is, I'm getting it over that shallow sandbar right there. There we go. Got some grass on my short rod over here to my left. My lightweight rig. I need to. I'll need to check on that here once I get this in. Get some of that grass off of there. I don't know how many more I'm gonna throw over the bar. To be honest, I mean, I don't particularly want to reel in tons of hard heads today. And just on the other side of that bar, they are stacked. So. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this rod. I may even put it up for now, but we'll see. 
I just made a hard cast to go over the bar and just broke a rig off. Got a hit over here on the cut bait. <sighs> so I've got to go over there and get that one rigged back up. Hopefully this won't just be a hard head. And it is. Gosh dang it. I'm really hoping to find the red end tight. Pretty, pretty disappointed that I haven't found a red in a while, but their numbers are increasing. So hopefully I'll find one sooner or later. All right. What do we got here? Hopefully it's not a ray, but whatever that was, hit that like a ton of bricks. Man. It's feeling like a, feeling like a ray though. I'll bring you over here, aren't you? Get over the top of that one. I don't know. Do we have a ray? That was a good little run. That is not a ray. Looks like a decent redfish. Or it might be a black drum. I can't quite get a great look at it. Come on, baby. That's a nice red. I'm gonna have to wear him out a little more to get him in, though. I don't want that drag too tight. I want him to be able to run if he's gonna run. Now see if I can't work him in with this a little better. No, nope, not yet. I'm really gonna play this dude. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna my my lightweight. I'm gonna actually have to step over this line. Can I bring you in with that one? You gotta come on in, come on in, come on in. All right. Sweet. Good red. And I, as you can see, I've cut that other dang line across there. Easy, buddy. I really need to get that mess off of him. There we go. All right. All right, hopefully I'm in the frame. I did not have my other GoPro set up that I'm talking to now, but finally, finally got that nice, nice red drum I've been after for a while. And I actually just caught him on a small piece of shrimp. I've got cut bait out there and he didn't hit the cut bait, he hit that, hit that shrimp. So I'm excited. I am very happy to get this fish this morning. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap up today's video. There's, there's no more complaint about not catching a red drum. Finally hooked up with one. It's, it's been a long, long time since I caught a red drum, so I'm super excited about it. And, and they'll start picking up here in the surf a little more. They'll be a little more, a little more common catch. And, I mean, the, the caught a few whiting, a couple of undersized pump. The hard heads were thick over the bar, so I, I didn't really throw over the bar a whole lot. But I'm happy with today turned out because my first got out here, tons of grass, hard heads immediately. And I wasn't sure what I was gonna get into today, but it was a success. So until next time, I'll see you later.